All right, going to show you the Jesuit origins of America's so-called Patriot Act, which is the, it's anything but patriotic. It's this authoritarian anti-terrorism law that takes away your liberties in the, in the, under the guise of keeping you safe from these made-up terrorists when the true terrorists are in Washington, D.C. Okay, uh, It was started on 9-11. It was a false flag attack. And, 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 oh, you're just a conspiracy theorist. Well, here's some questions to consider. Okay, See, it's kind of funny how a lot of these what would be called conservatives are quick to believe the government narrative. See, the government's bad, but then they'll believe the government narrative on the whole 9-11 thing, okay? And I'm not saying there's not some Muslims out there who don't want to kill you. Islam is a murderous ideology, just like their mama, Rome, okay? But here's some questions they consider about 9-11. Okay, first of all, why was the, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD, given a stand-on order on the, day, on the day of the attacks? Why, why did the world, how, sorry, why and how did a World Trade Center leaseholder named Larry Silverstein successfully buy terrorism insurance a few months before the attacks took place? Why do reports of the firefighters on the scene never line up with the government narrative of how the buildings fell? The firefighters report explosions prior to the buildings falling. Meanwhile, the government narrative says it somehow just melted through and it fell, basically by way of the, of the, of the fire. Hmm. And also uh, another question, why was the insurance policy raised prior to the attacks? Also, how was the Patriot Act ready to be passed into law within a little, with you know, a bit over a month after the attacks occurred? That was that's a fifteen hundred page document, and it's just right there, ready to be signed. You know, an act that big should have taken months to prepare in advance, and we're going to see that. Also, here's another question: Why is the fall of Building Seven never talked about? It's called the the Twin Towers. Everyone forgets about Building Seven, which clearly show. You look at the video of the thing; it's clearly a planned demolition. These are some questions you really should be considering before you just say, oh, you're just, oh, one of the things I got, oh, you're a Muslim sympathizer. Absolutely not. I've done videos against Islam. But what happened was this Patriot Act, what it does is it takes away your liberties and we got to keep you safe from the terror. So we, got, we basically have to monitor you and record all your phone calls. Essentially, here's one way you could put it. According to George Bush, terrorists hated your freedom. So he just, what, what was the solution? We'll just take all your freedoms away. So now they don't have to hate us anymore. That's essentially what the Patriot Act does. The terrorists hate your freedom, so Bush took it away. So I guess the terrorists, you know, now they're great now. They don't have to hate your freedoms anymore because there's no more freedoms for them to hate. You know, it pretty much violates your Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights of uh, privacy, to fair trial, free speech, and everything else. If you're just basically accused of terrorism, you're now essentially guilty till proven innocent. But who wrote the Patriot Act? It was a Jesuit lawyer, Jesuit-trained lawyer, Okay. This is taken from Eric John Phelps' book, Vatican Assassins, which I cannot recommend enough. It is really, I mean, you want the go-to guide for info on the Jesuits, his book is, is uh, the best one to go to. Uh, but this is an excerpt from his book about the lawyers behind the Patriot Act. Okay, this is uh, what it says. Secretary, Department of Homeland Security, Jewish Michael Chertoff, professor of Georgetown University, a Jesuit school, Viet D. Din, this is 2006. President Bush appointed Jewish federal judge, judge Chertoff to lead the Department of Homeland Security after Roman Catholic Tom, Tom Ridge's departure. The order continuing its policy of using the Masonic court Jews to direct its Soviet-style intelligence agencies, Chernoff would have forced a wicked Patriot Act co-written with Georgetown University law professor Viet Din. The act had been written before 9-11 and was passed and unread by an intimidated Congress. Essentially, these people of the Congress, they were just so scared that America was under attack, they just passed it like that without even reading what it actually does and how they basically just signed away their liberties, signed away their freedom, because we've got to protect you from the terrorists, so we basically have to basically search you naked at the airport, take these body scan photos, and also post them online too back in 2010 during that scandal. I guess they had to do that for your safety, you know? I mean, they had to essentially de facto molest you for your safety, search all your personal belongings for your safety, you know, take naked body scan pictures of you for your safety, and I suppose they had to also post them online for your safety too. You know, a bunch of stinking perverts at the TSA. But the point is, is that who wrote who wrote this Patriot Act? It was a Jesuit, a Jesuit lawyer, Jesuit trained. And by the way, you go to a Jesuit school, you are considered a Jesuit by the order. So continuing, because you look at the, the history of how the Patriot Act functions, it's no different than what you can see from Hitler's Enabling Act, who, by the way, modeled his SS after the Jesuit order. All roads do lead to Rome. That's not just a vain, empty saying. It's actually the truth. So I wanted to show you guys that. Your liberties are taken away by the Jesuit order. See, the Jesuits pose much, a much bigger danger to your liberties than any Muslim could ever dream of posing. Plain and simple. The, the, root, the real terrorists are the Jesuit-controlled you know, stooges over in Washington, D.C. 
who orchestrated the 9-11 terror attacks, knowing what, their, what the outcry would be, and then in they come with their solution, the Patriot Act, which takes away your liberties to keep you, to keep you safe. Which is not safety at all. It's it, it's basically taken away. So again, the terrorists hate your freedom, so they'll just take it away so the terrorists don't have to hate you anymore. When really, it's so they can control you. So anyway, I could go on a whole rant about that. But anyway, don't be deceived by the Jesuit order. They are truly Satan's tools for initiating the one world government of the Antichrist. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.